The original Swiss Army knife from Victorinox is aboard every space shuttle mission. When sensors aboard the International Space Station detected an air leak in 2018, the clock started ticking for astronauts on board to find a solution before the pressure ran out. After several intense days of searching, they discovered a small drill hole in the orbital module of the docked Soyuz MS-09 spacecraft, likely the result of a technical error during construction. In order to properly inspect the damage, cosmonauts Oleg Kononenko and Sergei Prokofiev donned their spacesuits to embark on an eight-hour spacewalk repair mission. After making their way to the external hull of the craft, Kononenko tried desperately to cut into the fabric insulation with a pair of scissors. But but the bulky suit made it impossible to grab onto the slick material. With no options left and time running out, the pair were forced to hack away at the craft with a narrow fixed blade instead, a knife similar to the unnamed 12-inch utility blade that has been used by Russian cosmonauts since at least the early 90s. A small cloth sheath dangled in open space as Koninenko sliced away at the insulation of the craft, desperately digging around for the drill puncture. But after hours of intense labor, he successfully cut his way to the bare hull of the Soyuz, using the blade to pry back the heat shield and locate the hole. Thanks to that knife, the pair of cosmonauts were able to verify the integrity of the repair. There are many reasons an astronaut would need to use a knife during their journey among the stars. This incident in 2018 was one of many similar events where utility blades and multi-tools proved vital to the success of a mission. In the early days of space travel, it was possible that returning spacecraft could land off course, in a location where it might take days for rescue crews to reach. For this reason, ships were equipped with survival kits, not just for use in space, but to aid the crew after a crash landing. In 1959, NASA was preparing for America's first manned spaceflight. Part of those preparations involved building the ultimate knife to include as part of that survival kit. At the time, the space agency had the philosophy that if they couldn't find the perfect tool, they would simply invent it instead. And for that, they enlisted the help of Bo Randall, a well-known craftsman who made custom blades out of his shop in Orlando, Florida, just a few hours from the NASA base in Cape Canaveral. With input from the agency, Randall modified his number 15 blade design to have a larger stainless steel handguard, making it safer to use with gloves. The micarta handles were also hollowed out to provide additional storage space for survival gear, the right size for a few matches or some fishing line. A small key was included at the end of the lanyard to screw the handle open for access. The blade itself was a 5.5 inch piece of carbon steel, made in Solingham, Germany. The design for the NASA knife was finalized by Bo Randall and astronaut Gordon Cooper, and it was granted the designation number 17 Astro. Alan Shepard carried A-17 Astro aboard the Mercury Redstone 3 rocket on May 5, 1961, the date that he piloted the United States to their first mission into space. After successfully launching to an altitude of 116 miles and returning to splashdown in the Atlantic Ocean, the blade was lost when the landing capsule hatch was jettisoned. Ingenuity has been a standard feature on every knife sent beyond the Earth's stratosphere, whether it was the hidden compartment of the Randall No. 17, the gut hook featured on the Emerson Spec War, or the pistol brace machete made by the Soviets. But sometimes, simplicity is the key to perfection. That was the case for the Case M1. NASA commissioned American knife maker Case Cutlery to design a machete that could be included in the survival rucksack sent on the Apollo missions to the moon. Because the Apollo command modules were intended to land near the equator, it was possible that the astronauts could become stranded in the ocean or the jungle while waiting for a rescue crew. The survival kit was specifically designed for this type of environment. It held an emergency beacon radio, containers for water, and sunscreen. The machete, though intended to be lightweight, was also shaped with a variety of purposes. A double sawtooth edge was cut into the spine of the blade, while the front included a blunt area at the bottom for prying. Even the knife's handle was made of a synthetic material specially chosen to reduce pollutants in the cabin. The Case M1 was deemed fit to be sent along every manned Apollo and Gemini mission, ultimately visiting the moon a total of nine times. 
Though they may not be used to dispatch extraterrestrial life, knives are still one of the most important tools to be carried into space. Just as explorers have relied on knives throughout history, modern spacefarers continue to depend on this timeless implement to navigate the challenges of the cosmos and expand humanity's reach beyond our planet. Hit the subscribe button to hear more knife stories like this. Thanks for watching.